My Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, and that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask your pardon for my sins, for the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me. Lord Jesus, today in the Church we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Fatima, your mother's appearance to those three shepherd children in Portugal. And today's Gospel, not from the optional readings for the memorial, but rather from the day's reading from the season of Easter, we have some incredible words of our Lord. I have said this to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. This is one of the great paradoxes of Christian life. One of the great paradoxes of our life in you, Jesus. That in the midst of tribulation, in the midst of disturbance or anxiety, we can still have peace if we realize that you're with us, Lord, if we don't forget that you love us, that you have a plan for us. If we truly live in your presence, in me you may have peace, Jesus says. We have peace remaining in him, of being with him, staying where he can love us, remaining in his hands. In Our Lady's appearance to Lucia and Jacinta and Francisco, we also have this interplay of peace and a great joy, along with difficulty and hardship, mortification and penance. Our Lady asks these children an incredible question. Will you offer yourselves to God and bear all the sufferings he sends you, an atonement for all the sins that offend him and for the conversion of sinners? Oh, we will, we will. Then you will have a great deal to suffer, but the grace of God will be with you and will strengthen you. What an incredible question to ask these young children. Will you offer yourselves to God and bear all the sufferings he sends you in atonement for all the sins that offend him and for the conversion of sinners? It's a challenging offer. It's a difficult task. There's suffering involved. The hardship involved is not hidden from them. And their childlike hearts, innocent souls, moved by grace, generosity, respond without hesitance. Oh, we will, we will. And then Our Lady assures them that even though they suffer, the grace of God will help them. Peace among tribulation quiet in the storm. Then you will have a great deal to suffer, but the grace of God will be with you and will strengthen you. And then right after that, they have an experience of God, an experience of God's love, which comes precisely from Our Lady's hands. Lucia relates that as the Lady pronounced these words, she opened her hands and we were bathed in a heavenly light that appeared to come directly from her hands. The light's reality cut into our hearts and our souls, and we knew somehow that this light was God, and we could see ourselves embraced in it. By an interior impulse of grace, we fell to our knees, repeating in our hearts, O Holy Trinity, we adore you, my God, my God, I love you in the Blessed Sacrament. The children remained kneeling in the flood of this wondrous light until the lady spoke again, mentioning the war in Europe of which they had little or no knowledge. Say the rosary every day to bring peace to the world and an end to the war. Peace among tribulation. Peace in spite of difficulties. Peace even though we choose to make our lives difficult by choosing the path of penance, by choosing a life 
of a certain penance and atonement. Lord Jesus, we probably will not have ever that kind of mystical experience that Our Lady granted to those three children. But we live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. And so just because we can't see the light and feel the presence of God that these children were wrapped in in that moment. Well, with our faith, we believe it to be true. We know it's there. In you, Lord, we live and move and have our being, as St. Paul puts it. We exist, Lord, in you. In you, we have peace, as you put it. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. This reality of not just existing alongside of Christ or existing with Christ, but existing in Christ, is a truth of our faith. I in them and thou in me. I in them and thou in me, Jesus says, to the Father in the Gospel of John. We're not just with Jesus, but Jesus is in us, and we are in him. This is what the church is. To be baptized is to be incorporated, incorporated into the mystical body of Christ. We're inserted into his body. We live in union with Christ, who is the head of the church. And so no matter what happens, no matter what difficulties or trials, temptations we go through, or even falls, even falls, we don't lose our peace because we know that we live in Jesus and we know the remedy for sin, which is confession and contrition. Thank you, Jesus, for this peace, this peace that you give to us which is your peace, and you tell us that the world cannot give. It's a peace that's exclusive to union with God, exclusive to friendship with God, exclusive to Christ. St. Paul describes it incredibly, the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. Now, what does that mean, to surpass all understanding? Well, it means we get to the point When we really believe in God's providence, we really believe in our divine filiation, we're convinced of Christ's love for us, that we don't understand why we're okay, why we're peaceful, why we're calm. Because other factors in our life that used to drive us crazy and and make us nervous and make us anxious, well, they're all the same. Those problems haven't gone away. Those trials, those tribulations are still there in our life. And yet, nevertheless, we're calm, we're confident, we're peaceful. In the world, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, take heart, because I have overcome the world. Jesus doesn't say, because you can handle it. Jesus doesn't say, because you're strong enough. Jesus doesn't say, because those tribulations aren't really tribulations. He says, in the world you'll have tribulations, things that will cause you a certain anxiety, a certain trouble. But be of good cheer, take heart. Why? Because I have overcome the world. Because you are in me and I am in you. Because I am with you always. Thank you, Jesus, for this peace the world cannot give and that Our Lady gives to us. As with those children, Our Lady of Peace spreads out her hands towards us towards the whole church, towards the whole world, and offers us you, offers us God. Help us, Lord, to feel and to be convinced that we live in that light, we're bathed in that same light that those children were, that brings us a great calm in the midst of all our tribulations. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, and inspirations which you have communicated to me in this meditation. I ask your help to put them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.